I'm down for us to be able to do things without worrying, oh, I haven't got this money, I can't do this, I've got a budget. I just want a normal life, just not without worries. I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. I wish I could, but I can't protect everyone against the full impact. The most effective prime minister. The question is, is it OK for a prime minister to have parties that he attended, including his own birthday, being investigated by the police. <laughs> this is recorded. This fictional party was a business meeting. And it was not socially distanced. Number 10 wasn't observing the rules set for everyone else. And she goes on to describe failures of leadership and judgment by different parts of Number 10 and the Cabinet Office. What do this no more? <sighs> Deborah is on her own with a teenage daughter and 10-year-old son. She pretty much has no spare money to pay for anything other than food and clothes. I was uh, dumbfounded, slimply dumbfounded. There's so many people out there that require help, people on dialysis machines at home, um, and they're debating whether to eat or put the heating on, and it's just... We're, we're so back into the Victorian age. And About Rishi Sunak, the man, who is, of course, a multimillionaire in his own right and married to the daughter of a billionaire. Sky News has, uh, has learnt today that Rishi Sunak has given over £100,000 to Winchester College. Now, this is the school where he was head boy, has uh, fees of over £44,000. Uh, I wish I could, but I can't protect everyone against... But for a 17-year-old to... Uh quite help with the bills it's it's yeah it's it's upsetting like that. well it's just uh, it's been you know it's been such a tough year for so many people and there's William Shakespeare putting it so simply for everybody that you know we can get on with our lives